So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the clove hitch knot. Clove hitch knot is really the ideal knot for uh, really any type of boat or yachting when you're hanging fenders. Uh, the reason I like to use the clove hitch on rails instead of cleats is that your fenders won't take up the cleats and you can keep your cleats designated for your dock lines. So if you have a boat with railings or handrails or uh, any type of stainless steel that's sturdy enough to hold the weight of a fender, you can use this knot on that rail. So to start, you're, what you're looking at right here is a locked off clove hitch with the fender set at rub rail height. So to start the clove hitch, and we've got an inch stainless steel rail here on this 50 foot Hatteras. Uh, so to start the clove hitch, he's gonna come around the rail He's going to go under to one side, and then he's going to cross over that main line on the rail, and he's going to go back under. He's going to pick the line up and tuck the loop through. Pull tight, just like that. Now, I like to leave the clove hitch with a loop. It depends on how much line you have to use, but I really like to leave it with a loop because all you have to do is pull this tag in and the loop comes out and the knot comes undone. You can get your fender off easily. Now, if you're leaving your boat long-term or you're prepping the boat for a hurricane or overnight and you want a little bit more security to this, you can lock this off with just two half hitches. So you can swing this loop around, go back to the main line and just make two simple knots square knots and cinch it up. And that way it will ensure that the knot does not slip just like that. Now, the cool thing about the clove hitch is that you don't have to lock it off like that. You can simply just do the clove hitch and leave it there. If you're pulling up to a floating dock or a fuel dock and you're gonna be there temporarily because the weight of the fender itself, if I undo these lock knots, the weight of the fender itself will keep that knot tight and it won't allow it to slip. But you can lock it off if you feel it necessary. So one more time, Garen is going to demonstrate the clove hitch. Go ahead. He's gonna go under. You can pull the line around if you want to, you don't have to, cross, back under, pick the crossing piece up, pull tight. There you go. And if you want to lock it off again, and it's secure. Now, once again, you don't have to lock it off and we're using the loop to knock it off. We're just tying a knot with the loop because we have a lot of excess line here. But if you don't have a lot of excess line, you don't have to do it with a loop. You could just pull the line through. Another beneficial reason to use the clove hitch is because when you are pulling up to a fixed dock with pilings, you need to set your fenders out horizontally. You never pull up to a fixed dock with fenders already hanging on the boat because those fenders can get caught on the pilings while you're trying to dock. And it will throw your docking off and it will, uh, the fenders will get caught. So never pull up to a dock, never pull up to a fixed dock with your fenders already hanging overboard. But when you get tied up to that fixed dock, then you can set your fenders out horizontally between the boat. Sometimes it's between the rub rail, somewhere on the freeboard where you can let that fender hang and give you some cushion between the boat and the piling. So Garen is gonna go ahead and tie this fender, that rub rail height, pretending that there is a piling here and with using the clove hitch. Perfect. Got a clove hitch there, clove hitch there. The fender is horizontal. It's in between us and the piling. 
and it'll ride like that all night. We'll be doing a whole separate video on the proper way to set fenders up, but while I'm on this subject of the clove, clove hitch with this fender, you never want to use dock line for your fender. And this is the reason why. A dock line always has a loop on the end, and that loop just gets in the way. When you're setting your fenders up for, if you buy a new boat or whatever, or you already have your fenders, when you set your fenders up, you wanna just buy straight line off the wall. So per foot. And the amount that you need just depends on your boat and the size of the freeboard and how far that fender needs to hang, et cetera. So, so it all depends on your boat as to how much line you buy, but just cut it off the wall. That way you don't have a loop and always use three eighths line for your fenders. I see all the time people using half inch line, five eighths line. You don't need either of those to hang fenders. The line is not under tension. You're not going to need uh, a lot of strength there. And it's much easier to work with a three eighths line than it is a half inch or a five eighths when you're uh, setting your fenders out and getting them untied. So generally, I am not a proponent of all of these fancy fender hangers and these plastic gimmicks that you buy at West Marine and all of these other stores to hang your fenders. Uh, I think they're a pain. I don't think they're the, worth the money. And if you learn the knots properly, it's very quick to put out a fender. You don't need a plastic hanger because generally you're always going to have to adjust that fender anyway to a certain height and that plastic hanger is going to be set up for one particular height but on this delivery and we're here at Apalachicola at Scipio Creek uh, this boat has some pretty nice fender hangers this is actually the best that I've seen so Garen's going to go ahead and demonstrate how this one works he's going to put the end of this line through the bottom hole here And this is one of the better ones I've seen because it's it, it, it locks in and it's adjustable very quickly. So he can run the line through there, pull it in, and it won't move. He's pulling tight on it and the line won't slip. And then to simply adjust it, pull it out, bring it up, and tuck it in again. So once again, not necessary. This is one of the better fender hangers that I've seen. It's a Fulby brand, F-O-L-B-E.